Hello, hello everyone! It's me, Melissa, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I have my microphone back, yay! So, we are going to do a great clean just before the Super Bowl. It is Saturday the day before, so I'm just going to do all of my cleaning so that way we can have a clean house for my Super Bowl guests uh, the next day on Super Bowl Sunday. So, just an overview as we do all the time. Mm -mm, there's some fresh brownies I made. Uh, looking at the stove, it's a little dirty, um, but you know, as, as per usual, just a little overview of the mess that we are going to tackle. There's those brownies, they're so delicious. Um, I have no idea how to link uh, recipes or anything, but Pinterest, the lunch lady brownies, uh, it, it delicious, delicious. I followed the recipe to a T and it was perfect. Um, so here's a little bit of the mess. That's per usual, my house really isn't that bad. Like when I say mess, it's really not that bad, but it's a mess to me. Um, so we're just gonna tackle it. Oh, there's my sweet boy, Mr. Knox Bentley. You're gonna see a lot of my babies in these videos. My case of Red Bull, of course. Miss Murder Nova, Mama Nova. Mr. Jameson Jacks, all my sweet babies. And get up close and personal. Here we go. <laughs> my sweet boy. Oh, I love my babies so much. They mean the world to me. I love including them in my videos. I hope you guys enjoy seeing them too. And then here is Miss Tennessee Nash. She was so involved chewing her bone that she didn't even want to give mom the time of day. Get a bit of the uh, bulldog side eye there. And Mr. Jameson. They're so sweet. Brother and sister. So there you go, you can see uh, there is a pair of socks on the floor. My kiddo decided to take them off and just leave them. She does that a lot. She takes her socks off and just leaves them where she drops them. Don't know, it's kind of weird, but anyways. Um, you can't really see the mess, but there is a mess all on the bottom of my fridge. I don't know how or why, uh, or even what it is. So we're gonna give everything a really good clean this, this Saturday. Per usual, we're gonna start with the blankets. So let's get these all in the wash. So the waterproof uh, blankets that I keep on my sectional, they go in first. If you guys are new here to my channel, um, this is pretty much a steady routine that I do every weekend. And if you're not new, you guys already know what's coming up. I just lo love to spend lots of time with my babies. I wish I could be home with them full time, but no, mama's gotta work, gotta pay them bills. All right, so, whoops, I must have hit the tripod. Um, so let's get this all cleaned up here. And on top of my dryer there, uh, oh yeah, brand new box of OxyClean, because I ran out. Um, so the on top of the dryer there is my cow, um, it's fake cow area rug. Uh, have not put that down for a while because the dogs tend to mess it up. I need to get one of those backings on it. So if anybody knows where I can get one, please let me know. Leave me a comment. Uh, but let's get in there with the gain. So gain detergent, gain fabric softener, gain scent beads, and a uh, scoop of OxyClean. That's what I do in all of my laundry. And I was pretty convinced that I dropped some of those scent beads, but if I did, they must have went under the washer or something because I, I found one. So, yep, yeah, let's put that on. They just go on a regular wash just on the warm cycle, and that was the uh, small thing of OxyClean I had to buy at the grocery store, which cost me an arm and a leg. But anyways, I digress. Okay, I don't have very many dishes to do. Um, I've been, uh, sometimes I, I stack them up all week for you guys on the weekend. I, I really don't have very many dishes regardless, but um, those are just my uh, just dishes from the day before. And we're just gonna wash them with the good old Green Dawn, my favorite, the green apple scent. Jameson, leave mom's plant alone. Oh no. <laughs> Silly dogs are barking at themselves. Sorry guys, I don't even know how to cut the barking out. I'm so sorry. Sorry, barking bothers you. 
Tennessee, that's enough. <laughs> I just realized uh, I am bopping along to the tunes. I have the radio on there playing on my Alexa. And um, yeah, bopping along to my tunes. Love it. Just 91.5 The Beat, which is a local station. They play uh, top 40, I guess. Um, and then throwbacks. Uh, I love the throwbacks, obviously. But um, yeah, I don't know what I was singing along to. So this here, I was waiting to tell you guys, this is a Pampered Chef uh, tray. I used to sell Pampered Chef many, many, many years ago, and I, I absolutely love this stuff. Um, I've had these for a long time, like almost 20 years. So this one here had some melted cheese on it. So all I did was just put a little bit of water on, you saw that, used the, um, I think it's called a bar scraper, it's the little brown scraper. I used that to scrape the cheese off. It, they're kind of almost non-stick, but they do stick a little bit. And then I just took my cloth and gave it a wipe with a little bit of dish soap. You are not supposed to put dish soap on those um, Pampered Chef uh, stoneware, the bakeware. You're not supposed to put soap on them at all. But I just did use um, the, the soapy cloth there just so it had a little bit to get the grease because there's a little bit of grease from the cheese. But very easy to clean. And uh, I have a lot of them. So now I'm just going to use my Dawn Power Wash to clean the sink. Didn't have enough bubbles left over from my dishes, so we're going to grab out the Dawn Power Wash. If you guys have tried this, trust me, the citrus scent smells decent. The other scent is not so great. Uh, so if, if you'd like to get the Dawn Power Wash, get the citrus scent. Whoopsies, guess what? Guess whose phone isn't on silent? You know what, it just wouldn't be like if I didn't put my phone on silent. I'm always forgetting to do that. Okay, so just a microfiber cloth. We're gonna give it a little dry down. Um, the stainless steel is best if you do dry it after you've washed it or gotten it wet, so that way you don't get those um, stains, those marks on it, the water stains. And just give everything a dry down with the microfiber cloth. I just bought a five pack from the dollar store. Um, they they wash up really nice, they come in handy, and you know what, they were only, I think, $4 for the pack of five, maybe, or it might have even been $2, I don't remember, but they work great. Once they get ratty, throw them out and buy some new ones. All right, so now we're gonna work on the island. We're gonna give it a clean off. I'm gonna put everything away. Uh, then we are going to give it a clean with some Mrs. Myers. That scent that I have there is the orange clove scent. Hey, it's pretty good. I don't mind it at all. Uh, I, I do like to get seasonal scents with my Mrs. Myers, what I can get on Amazon. Can't always find it in store. Sometimes I do find them at Walmart. Uh, but if I do find Mrs. Myers at Walmart, I, I do seem to only see lemon verbena uh, and there's a green one. Uh, I can't remember what it is, but it's it's a it's an herb. I don't like the scent of either of those, uh, so I do buy them on Amazon, and they're relatively cheap. It's just a cleaner. So there was some Nutella and my microphone back, so I was really happy to have that. But uh, let's deal with all this and put this away. Get this countertop uh, for the island cleaned up, and we're gonna do some antibacterial on it as well, as I do do quite a few times a week. Gently move the candle over so I don't spill wax everywhere. And I always have a candle going. When I am home, there is a three-wick candle burning somewhere. 
Um, if maybe you might notice it when I clean, I'll, I'll talk about it when I clean the oven, uh, the stove, but um, my grout, if my kitchen is new, my grout hasn't been sealed yet and the essential oils from my candles have actually turned some of the grout yellow. So we'll see if you can see it in the video, um, but I, I don't know how to fix that. And they, it has to be sealed, but I don't know how to fix it because it's yellow right now. So this island is 11 or 12 feet. I can't remember, it's massive. Um, and that's perfect, I love it. I have a very big kitchen and this island is like the showstopper centerpiece. And uh, the lights above it, just a finishing touch. I know you guys don't get to see the lights very often. Sometimes in my before and afters you get to see them. Uh, but the lights are just cat's meow. And um, I had the kitchen professionally done and it was professionally built, custom built for me. Uh, they did that. Oh yeah, my method, it was backwards whoopsies, but that's the method, the one I always use and I love the smell. Uh, but my, my dad did a lot of work here too. Oh, hey, oh, and did you guys notice? Um, yep, leave that for five minutes. And then I just took a, uh, the microfiber cloth I dried the sink with because it was clean. Uh, and it was damp, I'm using that to wipe the antibacterial off after five minutes. Did you guys notice I have baseboards? So we're starting to get things finished. Um, my dad uh, has been doing a lot of work on the house for me in his free time, and I'm starting to get baseboards. So the whole main floor is almost finished. Now I know I don't normally show you guys the rest of the counters, but they get the same treatment. So I left it in the video this time. I actually recorded this. So everything comes off onto the island so I can clean. And I'm just gonna use the Mrs. Myers again. So I just replaced the switch plates here on the kitchen walls um, with stainless steel ones just for something a little bit different. In the backsplash, I know it's not really that easy to see on camera. Uh, it is marble um, with uh, clear glass, so marble, black and white, gray and white, um, clear glass and stainless steel uh, tiles in it. It's, you can't really see it very well on the camera, uh, but the stainless steel uh, switch plates just, just set it off. I think it looks really nice. So I just did that there. I do have them for the power outlets on, there we go with the method again, on the either side of the island that finally got its power put in. Oh, I'm dancing away again. <laughs> You know, whatever makes the cleaning go faster, right? Um, I do have stainless steel uh, covers for those as well. I'm just not sure if I'm going to leave them with the white plastic or if I'm going to put the stainless steel ones on. But here I'm just dusting off uh, the handles of the knives and my butcher block, just giving it a clean as well. Because it tends to get dusty and I just want to make sure it's all clean, it's all good. So that is a pillbox. I don't, I don't know what I was pointing at there. Um, maybe I was dancing. That is a pillbox there that had a lot of supplements in it um, that I stopped taking. Uh, I've revamped my supplement routine and um, I'm trying to work on some health issues that I have. I have gained uh, 50 pounds in, oh yeah, my crab cloth again. This one was a dry one and I left the um, antibacterial on there a little too long so it dried out so I had to spray a little bit on the cloth. Uh, it, was, it was too dry, it wouldn't, uh, wouldn't wipe off. So uh, I've gained 50 pounds in the last few months. Uh, basically started just before I started this cleaning channel here and uh, I'm just trying to get healthy again. So now we're gonna clean, clean all my stainless steel appliances. My appliances are KitchenAid, I absolutely love them. Uh, I went with the higher end appliances because I like the way they look and the way they work. It's all KitchenAid, I really love it. I got the whole suite, the whole set. And they're very easy to clean. I love stainless steel, it's very easy to keep clean. I get a lot of doggy nose prints and slobber gobbers everywhere from the dogs, so. Now we're going to load up the Red Bull for the Super Bowl tomorrow. Um, so I get the sugar free Red Bull. And uh, I did have a few of these small, uh, these are the large because these are the Red Bulls I drink all the time. Um, I did have some of the small regular Red Bulls in there as well if anybody wanted those. And uh, I'll put some water in a little bit later when it came in. Um, so that's got uh, beer and uh, cold wine. Um, and a few cream uh, spirits and the rest of the 
uh, liquor is in my liquor cabinet that doesn't need to be kept cold. So um, we don't need to see that. We all know where the liquor cabinet looks like. So got that all prepared. Um, and then always more beverages out in the garage where it's nice and cold. I do have a small fridge like this out in the garage as well with flavored water. And there's me just getting some loving from my babies. The moment I am down on their level, they are right up in my face giving me kisses. I absolutely love it. I wouldn't trade it for the world. All right, so let's clean off this fridge. Um, it, it stays relatively clean. There is always some fingerprints right at the handlebars uh, when you open the fridge. That's, that's just normal. Um, but the, um, oh my gosh, what's it called? The water dispenser, the ice dispenser. I love that it has a lock feature. My old fridge didn't have a lock feature, so it was very tricky to clean because the moment you accidentally hit the dispenser button, you shot water, ice everywhere. So this one has a lock, I love it. So I just have it unlocked and I can clean it pretty easy. And uh, the drawers, not a problem. It's the bottom drawer, which is the freezer. It's three levels of freezer in there. That's what seems to get really dirty. I, I know I had, I spilled some milk um, so I did shoot some milk up onto there but uh, there's dog slobber I don't know what else I think my daughter might have spilled something and you know gave it a swipe but didn't really wipe it so that there was a big smear mark I, I don't know it's just it is what it is mom life right so everybody's gonna get a treat so I just slowed down this part to regular time so mr. Knox is getting a duck foot and the other three babies are getting a sardine. He does not like sardines, so he gets the duck foot. He's, he's special, he's my Mr. Man. So Tennessee, Nova, and Jameson, they love sardines. So we are working on a new diet for them. Um, we are not on a raw diet anymore, and uh, I am not doing the, there we go, I'm just locking it there. Um, we are not doing the um, eggs and rice on Sunday mornings for brunch. Right now, we're just working through some diet issues with Mr. Knox, so what I do for one, I do for all. I love the big glass window in this oven. I, I really love it. It's, it's just really nice and big, and you can see in there really well. I really do like that. That's what sold me on it. And I've always had gas. I, I'm so used to having a gas uh, oven. I grew up with it uh, when I was younger and I've always had gas in this house, so it's really great. Okay, so that's where I had the candle. Um, I think you might get to see it when I move the camera here. No, you don't, okay. So um, closer to the range hood, which I meant to wipe down in this video, but I completely forgot, it was clean anyways. Um, it's it's up a little bit higher, closer to the range hood is where it's turned yellow. So it's white there. It's actually Arctic gray, so it's a very, very light gray grout. Um, up higher is where it turned yellow, and it's turned yellow all the way up to the ceiling. And that's from the essential oils in my candles. So I am no longer burning candles on the griddle part of my oven, or my stove, uh, stove top. I am just gonna burn them on the island instead. So that way that doesn't happen, but I have to figure out a way. So if anybody knows how to clean grout that hasn't been sealed, please let me know. Um, somebody did mention to me when I asked a friend, I think they said baking soda uh, and water as a paste, and then you just leave it on, um, and it should help clean the grout, but I'm not sure uh, what to do. So if you've ever cleaned some grout that hasn't been sealed, please let me know. So again, when I do wipe down all of my stainless steel appliances, I like to go in with a dry microfiber cloth too, but I didn't get everything um, really wet with the cleaner this time. I just used a very light amount of cleaner, so I just found that it dried very quickly, so I didn't have to go back in and buff with a dry microfiber cloth, which was nice. So I'm just, from now on, gonna use a little bit less product. So there's the griddle I use as a candle holder. <laughs> One day, maybe I'll use it as a griddle. So that candle's always there, uh, just as decor, and then my spoon rest. All right, so back in to do some laundry. So um, we're going to throw the, um, oh my gosh, what are they called? Wow, I, I just lost words. It's, it's late at night. I'm posting this video a lot later than I normally do, and I didn't get to do the voiceover yesterday, so I'm doing it late tonight. Um, those are the waterproof uh, blankets from the sectional. So they're just going in the dryer. I do put them on extra heat just because they are waterproof. 
Um, they do come out a little bit more wet in the washer, so if you do get them, they're off of the Amazon, they're amazing. Uh, these are the 90 by 90 size, I think they might be called the king size. Um, you do have to put them in the dryer a little bit longer just because they have that waterproof layer in there, they, they do take a little longer to dry. And then these are just the rest of the blankets that I have on the couch and the pillows. So again, they're going to get the gain treatment, gain detergent, gain fabric softener, and gain scent beads, and a scoop of OxyClean. I was frustrated. Uh, Costco didn't have the big box when uh, my mom went the last time she went without me. And they didn't have the big box, so I had to get a smaller box when I got my groceries at Zares. And it was an arm and a leg for that tiny little tub that you saw me uh, with earlier. And I was pretty pissed off that I didn't buy that. But anyways. Alright, so let's clean off all the glass tables because I don't want my guests seeing all the dog slobber all over the tables because it is pretty gross. It doesn't bother me because they're my babies, but you know, it's, it is kind of gross. <laughs> So um, normally I do use a white cloth. I am not sure the name of it or where it came from. My ex-mother-in-law gave it to me. It kind of almost feels, it feels a little bit like material, but it feels a little bit like paper at the same time. It's hard to describe, but that washes windows and glass amazing. Like, I, I in mirrors, I can't describe it. Uh, it was dirty, so I'm using another microfiber cloth here. I just grabbed the clean one. It worked pretty decently. Uh, it didn't work as well and I had to scrub a little bit harder, but uh, you know, that dog slobber, it just kind of gets caked on there too. So that's a little bit of my fault. But I'm um, just gonna scrub it all off and then we're gonna do the underside of the table because you would not believe that they make a mess everywhere. Like, oh, oh my goodness. Like how did they get slobber underneath the table? It just blows my mind, but it is everywhere. And then of course, um, all over the chrome legs as well. Oh, excuse me, wow, that came out of nowhere. Um, inverted pickup. So the chrome legs, it's really nice. They come up really nice as well with the glass cleaner. And that is the Invisible Glass, my absolute favorite glass cleaner. And uh, when I am out of that, which I try not to let happen, I always have a backup, but sometimes I can't find uh, my glass cleaner. I will use Windex. Windex is, is, is great too, but I prefer Invisible Glass. I find it just works the best. It's actually for automotive detailing and uh, my parents just retired not too long ago. They had uh, an automotive uh, shop and car lot so uh, I've been around cars my whole life and they just retired not too long ago so uh, I would get the invisible glass from them and uh, I think you you can get cases of it at Costco. I do remember that. Um, I don't remember where they used to get it from before one of their suppliers for, the, uh, for detailing the cars. But uh, I found it at, uh, I think it was Walmart or Canadian Tire. No, it was Canadian Tire. I found it at Canadian Tire. I was surprised. So I was able to pick up a single bottle uh, at Canadian Tire, which was pretty great. That's a real pain in the ass to clean in between the chrome leg and the glass because uh, the glass top does not come off. It's glued on to those corner pieces you can see there. I have no idea how to separate it. So, and I just don't even bother. So it's, uh, it's a real pain in the ass, but I just get the cloth wet and feed it through and then put some pressure on it, uh, downwards or upwards, depending on which part I'm cleaning. So I'm just going to clean out this bowl here. This is a party light bowl. I sold party light many years ago as well. I do love my candles and I love the decor. It was just very expensive. So I got out of it. Um, and then my uh, coasters, which are kind of the same, tortoiseshell as the bowl there. And then my remotes, just give them a clean as well. Okay, so let's move that plant and clean off these two nesting tables. The third nesting table we will clean in just a moment. I've got it separated here. But uh, these tables, they're, they're just dusty. They don't really have a lot of dog slobber on them. They just get more dusty and a little bit of dirt uh, when the dogs like to sniff in that plant and blow dirt everywhere. Don't know why they do it. It's usually Jameson who does. I don't know what he gets out of it, but hey. So these, these two nesting tables don't get too bad. Just more dusty than anything. And here is the third nesting table. So this is the smallest one. 
Um, this one again it has a little bit of dog slobber on the legs just because Jameson and Tennessee eat right there. Uh, you can see their, their raised uh, dog bowl stand. That's where they eat, so a little bit of dog slobber does fly. You should see my walls. I have to wipe my walls all the time. I don't show you guys that just because it takes so long, and it's really boring to watch somebody wipe a wall. Um, but I have to wipe the walls quite often from the dog slobber around their bowls. But uh, that one was real easy. Just gave it a wipe off as well. Like, super explanatory, but, you know, it's got to talk. It's, it's, I just love to talk. All right, so now for the console table. I think that's what it's called, a console table. Uh, I don't know, it goes behind the couch. So this one here, um, it's it's relatively clean as well. It's just got some dust on it and a little bit of um, watermarks from spilling water, I guess, when I was watering the plants. I, I don't know where the water comes from. I, I don't recall spilling it, uh, but it's not dog slobber. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's condensation, because I do use that table to put my drinks down on if I'm sitting on the couch. Um, so the dogs can't knock it over. So maybe it's condensation. And I do know sometimes my diffuser there will leave a little bit of condensation on the glass table. So I'm just gonna give it a wipe. And somehow it got dirty underneath and the underside. You'll see me give that a wipe in a second. I couldn't figure out how that got dirty. Like in there, how did that get dirty? Like, I think somebody got their nose up in there and that was somebody blooping my tripod. But I think somebody got their nose up in there. I don't know. It was kind of like a nose smear, but it was weird. Hopefully my lilies start to grow soon again. Uh, I have two lilies, that one there, and then another one you're going to see me water shortly. And uh, they should be sprouting again soon. Yes, that green tape is still there. I do need to repaint these doors. They were originally white. I painted them black when I uh, did my kitchen renovation and uh, I just think they pop, it looks really nice. But they need a second coat uh, of the paint. I used uh, normal house paint when I painted them at first because I do have a black wall in my home. It's a big section. I don't, I don't know if you've ever seen it in any of the videos. Um, it is uh, the support for the second floor uh, because the back here is cathedral ceiling. So it's the support up there. You'll see it if I, sh if I can show it to you. Um, you do see the column by Tennessee and Jameson's Bowl. That is black, so I used that paint but it scratched off. So then I got uh, the right paint for the doors and uh, it's actually the same paint I'm going to use to paint the fireplace. I just need to get some time off of work. Uh, that's not a weekend when I'm doing other things so I can actually paint those two. Oh, my water arrived, so I'm just gonna put that in too. Um, we prefer, well, my daughter prefers the Fiji water. I like the size of the bottles and uh, I actually really do like the Evian. I get the, the one liter bottles of Evian and they, I keep those ones out in the garage. So I'm just gonna stock the fridge up with some Fiji water. There's only a few left, so I just had to make sure I had enough water for my guests. And there's that one lonely regular Red Bull. There we go, so both uh, packages fit in there quite well. All right, so now it's time to vacuum. So, as you guys have probably seen before, if you're not new to my channel, the dogs absolutely despise the vacuum. They go ape shit over the vacuum and the mop, the Roomba, the Crosswave, anything like that they can't stand. So, Tennessee and Knox, um, they were upstairs with Kaylee, so I just had Jameson and Nova. So I thought I would give Jameson a chance because nobody doesn't doesn't care. She doesn't give two shits about this kind of stuff. It's just the other three. I thought maybe Jameson may not go crazy if there wasn't Knox and Tennessee uh, doing it too because it kind of seems like Knox is the instigator. Um, but I was wrong. Jameson was starting to attack the vacuum. So uh, he had to go in his crate. He had to go for a timeout while I vacuumed. And it was the same with mopping as well. I, uh, you'll see later that Tennessee was out and I just struggled with it for a little while and I just thought, forget it, she had to go into her crate. I don't know why my dogs do that. It's, it's I don't know, it's just the way they are. Nova doesn't care about any of that stuff, but Knox, Tennessee, and Jameson can't stand anything. 
with uh, the vacuum, the Roomba, the Crosswave. Look at that. Look at all that hair that comes off my couch. <laughs> the blankets definitely help. Could you imagine if I didn't have those blankets on there? How much hair would come off my couch? Oh my lord. I really wanted to steam clean my couches, but I just didn't have enough time. Oh well, another day. So I just tuck these waterproof blankets in. They do, they're, they do have two different textures. Um, this side here is more of um, like a Sherpa kind of texture. I like this side. The other side is very smooth. Um, one day maybe I'll put the other side out. Uh, I, I just, I don't know, I've always put this side up. I really do like it. It does fit a little bit funny. It's not meant for my sectional. It's, it's just meant to be a blanket uh, for your bed or for a couch or whatever you want that's waterproof but um, it doesn't really fit my sectional very well, but I do like it and it does work because the dogs do drool a lot, so it keeps the drool off my couch and it keeps a lot of hair off my couch, which is great. So now we're just gonna pick up all the dog toys. Um, they are just like children, like toddlers who have their toys everywhere. I'm constantly picking them up. They do have a toy box. Uh, they just go in and help themselves whichever toy they feel like and bring it out. A lot of times they take toys outside too and then they leave them outside and then they get upset that their toys or their bones are outside, just like a kid. I swear, they are, they are my children. So you can see my baseboards there. It's so nice. It's just the finishing touch. Just baseboards just make a big difference. Oh, as I was mentioning, so uh, the main floor is almost all done. I do have to paint the front living room. Uh, the flooring in there is done, uh, baseboard in there is done as well. I just have to paint and then the main floor is finished and then we'll start working on the second floor. I can't wait. I don't want to show you guys the second floor uh, the way it is right now just because it is, I don't know, it's just, I don't want to say old and dated because it's not. My house really isn't that old. It's just not my style anymore. So uh, I can't wait to have it all done and then be able to show you uh, the upstairs one day. wonder like Nora's no sorry Nova is snoring away I was trying to say Nova and snoring at the same time Nova's just snoring away over here do you guys ever hear her or the dogs when they're walking around when I film these videos and do the voiceovers um, I do mute obviously the videos because there is a lot of noise going on there's music playing there's dogs barking yeah, there's me talking to myself <laughs> lots of things going on but when I do the voiceovers can you hear the dogs in the background because Nova snores like a freight train she is always snoring because um, I'm doing the voiceovers at night all the time. So she's always snoring, but I just wonder, can you guys hear them? If you can, just leave me a comment down below. I, I'm just curious. They're loud to me, but I'm not sure that they pick up on the voiceovers. Oh, one thing, if you live in Ontario, if you are Canadian and you are interested in getting a kitchen, I highly recommend Fine Line Kitchens. That's who did my kitchen. Uh, they will travel all over Ontario. They were fantastic. Super professional, amazing, totally customized this kitchen. Their designer came in, looked at my space, and I could never have imagined this. It's um, different than what I had, and uh, I love it. So fine line kitchens, they are fantastic.
So that room there on the right, uh, I've got a table blocking it off so the dogs don't go in it yet. So the floors have been done, uh, the baseboards are done, but everything is just kind of moved into the center of the room. There, uh, in there is my vanity and my bathtub and my toilet for my ensuite. That is getting done in the next few weeks as well. Uh, my dad is just an amazing handyman. He, he, I love my dad. I love my parents. They're just the best people. But my dad is so handy. I'm very lucky that he's able to do that uh, and, and do a lot of the stuff in the house uh, with me and for me because I can't do it all. I can't. I really can't do a lot actually. I, I'm very helpful, but yeah. Look at all that dog hair. It's actually not too bad. It's kind of more clumped on one side there, but that's just from the main floor. Okay, so it is Super Bowl Sunday. And I just thought, you know what? Since Valentine's Day is a Monday, and I'm kind of anti-Valentine's, but you know what? I just thought I would wear some pink just for fun. Uh, it definitely clashed with my Seahawks jersey that I had on for the Super Bowl, but I did not care. <laughs> I wasn't able to wear this stuff to work, uh, so I just thought, you know what, I'm gonna have some fun and wear some Valentine's pink and red uh, on Super Bowl Sunday. So I'm just gonna mop everything up here. I use the Bona floor cleaner. Uh, it is amazing, I absolutely love it. It smells fresh and clean and it is antibacterial. So it is perfect. Yeah, you'll see Miss Tennessee kind of attack the mop a few times here. And um, yeah, drove me nuts. Holy Jameson, are you thirsty or what, bud? Ever since putting the dogs back on a kibble diet, just until we get it figured out, I, I am not a kibble lover. Uh, they are drinking so much water, it is insane. I, I go through a lot of water now. When they were eating raw, they didn't eat as much water, obviously because the food had water content. <laughs> there we go, give Miss Dennis he's in trouble. There's the dog's water jug there. So I was filling that up maybe two or three times a week when they were on raw. Now I'm filling it up uh, almost every day. They, they do drink a lot of water on the kibble. Makes sense because it's dry, right? But anyways, uh, I don't know if you guys have uh, noticed, I have my makeup done. Um, I, you know what? Ever since COVID, I haven't really been doing makeup. Um, I didn't film this look here. This is something I whipped up real quick. I just wanted to do something kind of pinky. Um, I filmed it, or I didn't film it. I was thinking if uh, if I filmed it, you know, I just wasn't sure. I originally started this channel for makeup, um, but the unboxings and stuff just really didn't get very many views. And there, there are a few makeup videos that I did on here. Um, but being such a small YouTuber, uh, like I am a micro influencer, uh, I do do live makeup videos on my Facebook channel, but here on YouTube, um, my Facebook channel, oh my gosh, <laughs> you know what I mean. On my Facebook, I do live makeup, uh, but here on YouTube, being such a small YouTuber, uh, I, I'm just not getting the views for the makeup, so um, I don't know, I just, just stopped doing it, but if you guys are interested in getting some easy peasy makeup tutorials, uh, I'm, I'm always learning, um, I'm self-taught, and uh, yeah, if you wanna see some, just let me know. But that was just something I, I put together. I did post a picture of it on my Instagram and listed the brands that I used. Uh, so that'll give you a bit of an idea of which brands I used. But I, I did use just a lot of different things that I had in my collection. And uh, oh, one thing I did get that was new. I, uh, if you guys have ever seen any of my Sephora unboxings, which I haven't done in a while, I get Sephora orders about every four to six weeks. Uh, I have everything from Sol de Janeiro in the Bum Bum or Boom Boom cream range. Uh, that scent, oh my goodness, that is my daily scent. It is my signature scent, I love it. I have the perfume and that's what I wear every day. They just came out with the hair oil and I've been using it in my hair and I absolutely love it. So I wear the 
uh, body cream. I use the shampoo and conditioner. Uh, and I rotate, rotate with the Ovoplex too. But um, I use everything from the Boom Boom line. I absolutely love it. So I'm just going to throw in my laundry quick. Uh, I just have two small loads to do before my guests come over. So I just thought, you know what, I'll get that done quick. I had some time. So just getting the usual treatment there. Yeah, anything from Sol de Janeiro in, in that uh, Bum Bum Cream scent, I, I have it. I love it. The only thing I'm not fond on is the deodorant. I just found it didn't really work for me. Okay, so we're going to water the plants real quick. So this one here that I'm watering there, that one was, was one that was upstairs that um, was in my daughter's uh, computer room and it, it didn't get watered for a while so it started to die off. I'm hoping I can bring it back. But that green pot in the back, that's also got some calla lily bulbs uh, like the other pot by the uh, Easter lily, the peace lily. So those should be sprouting soon because it's about time for the bulbs to rise up. So I'm hoping that they do come back. That's my poor peace lily, my poor Easter lily. I don't know, I don't know what happened. So I accidentally overflowed um, that pot. It, it's pretty full and it just a little bit, little bit too much water came out. So overflowed it, made a big mess. So I had to clean that up. And uh, I did it on the other side as well, but I cut that part of the video out because I made a big mess. So whatever's in the middle there, uh, it's the same that is on the right hand side. The right hand side hasn't grown this year. It's a chrysanthemum. I think that's what it's called. Um, you get them at, at Christmas time, uh, but the middle one has sprouted. It should flower anytime soon. Apple blossom, that's what it's called. So these are my low light plants out here and uh, the hanging ones as well. They are all low light because the room doesn't really get a lot of light. This is the where the dogs are there. It's supposed to be a dining room, but really I don't need a dining room. So that's where all the dog crates are in their toy box. I just wanted to show you, this is real life. That's how petite I am. I am very short, I am five foot two. So um, the camera is always angled down when I'm filming so that way you can actually see me. So that was the camera facing straight on. So that was just to show you how short I am. I guess people think I'm tall. I'm not, I'm, I'm very petite, I am five foot two. <laughs> All right, so let's just switch up these loads real quick. I just wanted to at least get one load uh, washed and dried and folded before my company came over because if the other load was in the dryer, that was fine. I can always put it on fluff. Um, but I ended up getting them both done before my company came over for the Super Bowl. And I thought the Rams were going to take it by 10. Uh, it was a pretty close game. It was, it was pretty decent. And that halftime show, it kicked some ass. Brought me back to my teenage years. That's what I used to listen to. I was into all the hip hop and everything. Uh, if we could have some Biggie and Tupac in there, I, I would have been in heaven. But uh, obviously, we can't do that because they are deceased. So I'm just gonna tidy up here. Uh, oh, there's that plant. I just took it out. I cut the part of the video out. It I overflowed it really bad. Uh, the bulb there. So I just had it in there drying. So I'm just gonna wash these dishes up real quick. Um, you know, I, I didn't care if my guests saw them sitting in there. I did actually put them away before they came over. They were dry enough, so uh, I was just uh, washing them up, making sure everything was clean. So again, with the uh, green apple dawn, or maybe it's called apple blossom, I'm not sure, but it's, it's the green one. That's my favorite. Oh my gosh, Miss Nova. Novacita. So those um, yoga pants I'm wearing there from Fabletics, that's where almost all my, my yoga bottoms come from and uh, my sports bras and stuff. Absolutely love Fabletics. I, th I think I pretty much have everything they've ever made. I've been a Fabletics lover for years, but I bought those specifically for Valentine's Day because they are pink with um, 
red leopard or cheetah. No leopard. There are leopard spots on it. Um, and I thought, you know, I need to wear those for Valentine's Day. And then it turned out Valentine's Day was on a Monday when I bought them last year. So I was pretty bummed. So I was wearing them. I didn't care. I was wearing them Super Bowl Sunday. Oh, you guys can see my Alexa there um, by my protein powder. So one day, randomly, she just started talking. Like she just kept saying yes over and over and over. It was really weird. I don't know if somebody hacked into my Alexa. Um, that's the Echo Show 8, I think, uh, the newest one. Um, I have smaller versions upstairs, the fives, I think. Um, but that, I just got that one there. I bought it for myself at Christmas because I had a smaller one there. And she just randomly started talking and I was like, what the heck? Like, I, so I turned the camera and the microphone off for about a week or so and she hasn't done it since. Uh, I've since turned the camera and the microphone back on. Um, I do like to check in uh, to see what's going on during the day when I can't be home. And uh, obviously, nothing, thank, thank the Lord, knock on wood, you know, nothing's gonna happen, but I just like to check in every once in a while, make sure everything's, you know, just fine. But it was really strange. She just started talking. So I, like I said, I don't know if somebody's hacked into it. Um, my um, soundbar at my TV, uh, somebody randomly connects to it in my neighborhood. Obviously, it's got to be one of my neighbors. And uh, porn has played through there quite a few times uh, through my soundbar. And it's, it's pretty entertaining. <laughs> I can't turn it off. Don't know what to do. But somebody's obviously connecting to that by mistake. Or they're doing it to be funny. And I, I honestly think it's hilarious. Uh, I laugh every time it happens. But, uh, pretty funny. But it is scary that people can hack into your stuff. Yeah, so it's nice to be back. Um, as you guys probably noticed, I missed a few weeks there. Uh, I just had some issues going on with my health. And uh, Mr. Knox, um, I almost lost my poor boy. He, he got very, very ill. Um, luckily enough, we got him in time that he made it, pulled through. Um, so I just, I just took some time off. Uh, I was more concentrating on, you know, being with, with my dogs, spending more time with them. And uh, I also didn't have a microphone. My microphone just wasn't working. So uh, I'm glad to have it back. That's why last week's video, I thought it was about time I put one up and that's why there was no voiceover. But I figured, you know what? You guys get the drift. You know what I'm doing. Like, it, it's cleaning. It's not difficult. But I do miss chatting with you guys, so it's nice, uh, you know, all the DMs I get, the messages I get from you guys commenting. Um, don't be shy, you can comment down below, like, you know, leave nice comments. It's, it's nice to see and other people, I think if, if uh, you guys start commenting and leaving nice comments and, and questions and stuff below, other people will see that and they'll start doing it too. And I think they just want to make a nice little community here where we can all chat, um, just have a great relationship. Doesn't have to be cleaning, um, but just keep it PG, keep it respectful. And uh, no hate comments, please. Uh, I was just smiling. I was in a great mood. Okay, so now we've got the overview here. Everything is nice and clean, except that little container there on the counter. You'll see that in a moment. I didn't get to that, uh, but whatever. Oh, and I forgot to wash that. Uh, I had eaten some lunch. I just made some chicken fingers. Uh, and it was too hot to wash earlier, so I just set it in the sink. Uh, I just needed a quick wipe down. But uh, there we go. I did put the dishes away shortly after that because they were dried down. Jameson, I'll let you out in a minute, bud. Um, so yeah, everything's all nice and clean and sanitized, ready for my guests to come watch a Super Bowl. So those are my makeup brushes um, from the past few weeks that need to be cleaned. I just didn't get time uh, to do that before my guests came, but no, it doesn't matter. No biggie. All my little supplements there. 
Yeah, of course, got a candle, so I've moved it there. You can see it's uh, that's its new home. It's sitting right beside me here because I do all of my editing and my voiceover work here at the end of the island. This is also the side that I sit on to eat as well. Uh, but yeah, everything's clean, sanitized, anti backed put away, nice and tidy. The dogs are all upstairs. Uh, no, Nova's down. Nova's down here. She, she is. She just doesn't care about anybody. <laughs> So she's such a sweet girl. Uh, she'll give everybody kisses and love. She won't jump up on anybody. So she stayed down. Um, the other guys were upstairs. And that's where they stayed for the rest of the night. But uh, everything's nice and clean. And there she is snoring away. I know I woke her up. I was like, you got to say goodbye, Nova. Oh my, some eyeliner swatches there on my hand. Clearly I did not wipe that off when uh, I was filming there. <laughs> Whoopsies. But that's it. Everything's all nice and clean and taken care of. And we had a great Super Bowl Sunday. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.